On this episode of Machining 101, you're going to see a quick change collet holder, the only collet holder that the FNG can't screw up, potentially. But just to make sure that the FNG doesn't screw this up, I got my boss man, Kenny Partnin. I got set up for this job. I'm in a big hurry. How do I get this collet out of here again? Well, you're going to use your uh, collet change tool there. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, that's how it works. And I got to put this one in. Put this one in. Okay. So have you got the old one out yet or no? I didn't want to touch anything based on the one that happened in the tap. Remember that? Oh. There's three pairs of holes here. They're going to match up exactly with your collet changer. Go ahead and put that in there. It'll only go in one way. And you're just going to squeeze the trigger. Ciao. You're going to do that in the machine, and that should allow you to pull that collar right out. That's it? That's it. Go ahead and pull on the other trigger. There you go. That's going to be how you release it. So go ahead and put it in there. Boss man, I did it right the first time. There you go. There you go. So now before you get ahead of yourself, you're gonna to want to make sure it's all nice and clean in there. There could be chips, there could be coolant, there could be grease. Just make sure everything's nice and clean in there. Oh man, look at that. That was dirty. So this is a very precise tool here. That was in between the chuck and the collet. Your part probably won't spin very good. Probably not going to be on center. It's important to make sure that's clean every time. Got it. Also important, you make sure your collet is clean. You're going to inspect this. What, what are you doing? You're going to inspect your collet as well. I hope that went in. It did. Okay, good. Visually inspect your collet. Looks good, boss. Cool. There you go. So, now what is important is, you'll notice that there are notches. There's three of them on this collet here. There is, on this chuck, a little pin. You're going to want to line up one of those slots on that pin as you push that collet in. All right. So while you're pushing forward, you're going to pull that other release trigger. There you go. Your collet's in. See, the FNG didn't screw it up. Told you. Are you the FNG in the shop? The fancy new guy? Well, I am too. Follow my journey and watch Machining 101, where Kenny teaches me everything I need to know about machining and manufacturing. Visit us at thepeoplemanufacturing.com for all you FNGs out there. This episode of Machining 101 was brought to you by Sunny's the Car Wash Factory. Sunny's is the largest conveyorized car wash manufacturer in the world. For more information, visit sunnysdirect.com. Just a recap, because I want to make sure. Sure. If I want to change this Royal Quick Change Collet in my lathe truck, one, two, three, out. That's it? That's it. Woo! Thanks, boss man. You're welcome. Good luck. Bye. Thanks for watching Machining 101 on how to change a quick change collet in your lathe.